What's going on, phone fam? It's your boy, Not Enough. Today, I'm excited to bring to you this brand new video on this mod that we did. If you don't remember correctly, the crazy blaster that broke Amazon, and now we're gonna break into it to see what we can get out of it. We'll be working with some parts sent in by renowned 3D printer, Paper Skeletons. Shout out to you. We'll be trying to set up a few different configurations. I do have two Phoenixes, so we're gonna work on them and see what we can prop up. I know there's a performance mod in there in the form of a spring spacer. Obviously, there's also the functional tactic cool mods and a very necessary aesthetic mod in the form of different orange muzzles. Before we get into the video, however, I want to congratulate John Landry as he is known on YouTube, Bayou Battlegrounds as he is known on Instagram. You are the third and final winner of our 2000 subscriber giveaway. I appreciate your support through this journey with us. You are the proud new owner of a brand new Dart Zone Dictator, buddy. Congratulations to you. While we're here, we're also gonna congratulate our winner of our Blaster Bargains 17 comment winner. Every time we do a Blaster Bargains episode, usually once a month, we do this contest where we'll pick the best comment in the comment section, and that person will win a blaster that we have either thrifted or bought brand new since we started this whole nerf thrifting campaign. It dates back to around the same time we started the channel, as a matter of fact. So I'd like to announce the winner of that, Tim Shooter. Congratulations, you're the proud new owner of a an X Shot Fortress. We picked a couple of these up. I think it was in Blaster Bargains 14 or 15 where we just did a crazy target clearance run. The latest iteration of the X Shot Drummer. Can't get enough of it. Enough of this chitter chatter. Let's get into this Fire Phoenix modding. And let's see what kind of numbers we can get after we're done with it. Let's get into it. guys so if you don't recall i put out a short video not too long ago i had to end up taking it down because they insisted on getting a copyright on a song that i've used before i don't know why they did that that was kind of bizarre I had to end up taking the video down it's still on instagram if you want to see it we did a double spring mod on the fire phoenix got it up to about 120 130 on some shots basically ended up using a spring from a nerf elite 2.0 echo which have plenty disassembled and we sat it in line it fits perfectly on the interior side of the factory spring and it was able to boost our performance today we're going to be fitting this blaster this is my pistol this is the one i did the spring mod to i fit it with the paper skeletons under rail mount angled muzzle attachment now i have two of these this is the clean plain one the other one that we're going to see here in a few minutes has a slotted attachment point for additional muzzle types or silencer compensator kind of attachments and of course there's the top rail which replaces the factory black sight so we're replacing a lot of black on here which is a big big safety plus and of course we're adding extra tactic coolness with the rail i know this has a built-in rail here but it's cool to have this orange piece that kind of goes with the taper of the muzzle here and of course we have a little shoe that we put onto the trigger just to accentuate the orange across the blaster so without further ado let's just get right into it i've already removed the screws off of this you can see our short video i'll put a link in the description basically you remove this half of the shell just like that but you obviously want to remove these two screws which hold the firing chamber assembly in place. You wanna just remove it as a whole like this. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna do two things here. We're gonna install the spring spacer and then we're gonna install the rail accessories. First, what you wanna do is you wanna grab the entire plunger tube and push it towards the front of the blaster and then slightly angle it down and pull out. That will release the tension and the spring. To install the spring spacer, what I recommend is you're basically gonna point the arrow towards the front of the blaster. And you're gonna twist the spring in so it can sit all the way at the end of the spring spacer. Reinsert your plunger tube into it and then you're gonna seat the spring spacer all the way to the end of the factory seat. You're gonna remember these ears go laterally towards the sides. And then you're gonna compress your plunger tube and seat it right here on the air diversion chamber. This spacer also allows you to use a shorter spring that's stronger with no problems. And that should be good enough to get your spring spacer installed. For the front muzzle piece, we did get two pieces included. We got this one, which just replaces the factory one. And then we got this angled one, which allows us to install a muzzle piece to it. That's pretty cool. I've already used up the other one, like I said, on my other blaster. So we're gonna install this one. You're gonna remove this retainer plate from the factory muzzle and install it onto this canted muzzle. Let's get into it, guys. Like I've mentioned in a lot of my mod videos, you do not want to use a driver for installing these screws. It'll go right through the plastic. Instead, what I do is I remove the bit and I install them with just the bit. Position your retainer plate over the new muzzle and then you wanna go ahead and screw it in. 
Once you're done with that, the next thing you want to do is you want to position the front muzzle piece, which for this blaster, I'm using the shorty one. As you were able to tell for mine, I used the extended one. It's a cool thing that I had two blasters, so that way I can show you how it looks with either configuration. Of course, you're going to put your air chamber assembly into the muzzle piece here and then slide it all back onto the blaster as it was from the factory. Just like that, guys. Last thing there is to do, now that we've removed these black pieces, we can set them aside and now we can put our shell back on just like that and we can put our blaster back together. I'm going to put the screws in these and then we're going to go fire this one which has paper skeletons spring spacer on it and then we're going to fire mine which has just a double spring in it. We'll compare results for a little bit but pretty sure either of these mods is going to augment the performance very very nicely and with the addition of a very necessary mod in my opinion of replacing the black front muzzle with orange. Without further ado let's get this baby back together and hit the range. Let's get it. you're pretty much looking at about a 20 fps difference we're getting around 120 with the double spring and about 100 with the spring and spacer from paper skeletons now i have to say i do like the prime of the spring and spacer mod better because the prime is easier your kids are probably going to still be able to prime it with this and shooting in the 100s i mean this blaster was fun to begin with at least for me shooting anywhere over 80 with this it's a game changer and it makes a 10 dollar blaster just a no-brainer at that point i'm going to put the link in the description to paper skeletons direct in Instagram so you can contact them if you have any questions about these mods or if you would like to purchase some of them He'll be able to give you the link to his store for now I can say that I'm really pleased with especially the safety concerns being addressed with these bright orange front muzzles These rails are really cool. Thank you to paper skeletons for sending these in and letting us try them out Really happy with them. If you enjoyed this video I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button being discovered on YouTube is harder than it's ever been And thanks to your help with the likes and the comments basically all the engagement We're able to reach more people to show them all these cool things that are available for our hobby if you found this video entertaining you're definitely gonna like this one i'll catch you on the next one stay blasting boom bam